Hey, what's up, guys? Real quick video day. I wanted to let people know the biggest mistake that most first time home buyers are making, and it's costing them thousands upon thousands of dollars. And they don't even realize that they're making this mistake. Well, that mistake is they never purchase a house. And the reason that most first time home buyers never buy a house is because it's not their dream home. All right. So I, I hear it all the time like, hey, this house is too small, or it's cheap, or I need to do this, I don't like the carpet. But at the same time, you got these people who are paying rent in a, in a one-bedroom apartment. And so they always tend to compare themselves to someone who's been in the house maybe five or ten years or who's had two or three homes, and they're trying to kind of keep up with the Joneses. But what they don't realize is the Joneses started out in a much smaller house. They got a starter home. They paid it down. The balance went down. The equity went up or the value went up. Now they got this equity. They sold the house and they took a big chunk and they put it into their next home and they got a bigger house and they pay a lot less money. So let me tell you my story real quick. All right. I bought my house 15 years ago, right? It was $165,000 and actually it was a foreclosure. You're not going to find foreclosure. So don't message me saying, hey, I want to buy a foreclosure. It's not happening these days. All right. So bought that house, $165,000. It was worth about two twenty. dollars uh, I ended up putting a little bit of money down, didn't have to put a whole lot down. But today, all right, today that house is worth over $400,000 and bought it 15 years ago, paid it down. I owe a hell of a lot less more money. And so I'm in the market to purchase a new home. But when I do do that, I'm going to be taking a big chunk of money, right? So let's just say $300,000. I'm going to be taking $300,000 of profit that I made on, on, on my current home because it wasn't my dream home. It was, it was my starter home. Going to be taking three hundred thousand dollars, and I'm going to be dumping that into another property. So let's just say I go out and find me a six hundred thousand dollar house, right? So now I've got three hundred thousand dollars, and I'm dumping into a six hundred thousand dollar house. I've got a six hundred thousand dollar house because I am making a mortgage payment on three hundred thousand dollars. Now, trust me, I don't want to be making a mortgage payment on six hundred thousand dollars, but because I made that decision fifteen years ago to go ahead and purchase my house. Uh, and I lived in it, paid it down, balance went up, balance went down, value went up. It's called equity, people. So you use your equity to graduate. Now, you don't have to take 15 years. If you were in a house in 2000 and, and the housing market went up, between 2000 and 2001, your, your property probably increased $50,000. It was insane. So I want to shoot this real quick video, man, just to let people know, hey, if you're a first-time home buyer out there, do not make that mistake on thinking, hey, I cannot buy my first home because I can't keep up with my brother or my cousin or my sister or whoever. Get yourself into a home. Let's get out of paying um, let's get out of paying rent to someone else. Start building your own equity so down the line you can put yourself in a much better financial position and be able to get your dream home at that point. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Hey, keep watching these videos. Let me know what I can uh, what I can produce next. What questions you guys have? Hey, if you got questions on how I can help you out, I've got the best deal in real estate. Click the link down in the description and you'll see exactly what I do for my clients. Talk soon.